The Stridsforden 90 or Combat Vehicle 90 was developed in Sweden in the mid-1980s to meet operational requirements of the Swedish Army. This infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, was co-developed by Bofors and Haglunds, where Bofors was responsible for development of the turret, armament, and final assembly, while the Haglunds provided chassis and armored hull. In 1991 Swedish Army ordered the CV-9040. Deliveries commenced in 1993. The CB-90 is currently in service with Sweden, 509, Denmark, 45, Finland, 102, Netherlands, 193, Norway, 146, and Switzerland, 186. Swedish CB-90s are armed with 40mm cannon, while all export models are fitted with 30mm or 35mm cannons. Production of the CB-90 continues to improve standards. New versions continue to emerge. By 2020 there were 16 variants of the CV-90, modified to fulfill various roles. Over 1,000 vehicles were built to date. This IFV has seen combat in Afghanistan. Even though the CV-90 is being offered since the early 1990s and the basic design is nearly 30 years old. However protection of this, this IFV was constantly improved in order to address evolving threats. Newer versions also incorporate advancements in weapons, fire control, and electronic systems. The CB-90 series IFVs that are currently offered are significantly improved comparing with the original CB-9040 that was delivered back in 1993. The CB-90 has a welded steel armor hull. It is claimed that the front arc of the CB-90 withstands hits from 30mm armor-piercing rounds, used by the older Russian IFVs and ACVs. All-round protection is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. Latest versions of the CV-90 withstand mine blasts equivalent to 10kg of TNT. Applique ceramic armor can be added to later production models for all-round protection against 30mm armor-piercing rounds and improved protection against blasts and improvised explosive devices. A slat armor can be fitted for protection against tandem charge RPG rounds. Interior of the CV-90 is lined with Kevlar liner to prevent spalling. Vehicle is also fitted with NBC protection system. The main armament of the CV-90 IFV is a Bofors 40mm cannon, which is a modified anti-aircraft gun, developed in the early 1950s. This gun proved to be a very successful design. Even now it can easily defeat pretty much all armored personnel carriers and infantry fighting vehicles. It also poses threat to older tanks such as the T-55 and T-62. This 40mm cannon is fed from 24-round capacity the box magazines. Magazines are reloaded manually within 20 seconds. It is worth noting that first batch of vehicles for the Swedish Army had no gun stabilization system and thus could not fire accurately on the move. Export versions of the CV-90 are armed with 30mm or 35mm cannons. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a 71mm mortar. This IFV was specially designed to minimize radar and infrared signatures. It also uses heat-absorbing filters to provide protection against thermal imaging, image intensifiers and infrared cameras. Vehicle also has quiet movement in order to improve stealth. The CB-90 carries 8 troops plus 3 crew members. Troops enter and leave the vehicle through the rear doors and roof hatches. There are no firing ports provided for the crew in attempt to increase armored protection. Furthermore it is considered in Sweden that an IFV must transport troops only to the battlefield, where troops leave the vehicle and fight on foot. The CB-90 is powered by a Scania DS-14 diesel engine, developing 550 horsepower maximum road range on a first production vehicles was only 300 km. On later models it has been increased to 600 km. With preparation this IFV is amphibious.